Hi, this is Deborah Peters. Welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. Thank you so much for being a part of this. This is our fourth episode, and soon we'll have the first week all wrapped up, and I've got some really exciting episodes coming up for you and just some great topics and some amazing tools for you to be able to shift your business. You know, I think yesterday I talked a little bit about how 86% of small businesses never make it past two years and how that's really so tragic. So today I want to share with you the three energies that every business must have in order to thrive. Our whole target market is SMEs across the world. So it doesn't matter what industry you're in. It doesn't matter if you're producing a widget. It doesn't matter if you have a service that you're offering. There are some real basic fundamentals that absolutely have to take place within every organization for that organization to be efficient, to be effective, to attract the clients that you're seeking, to have the culture that enables the stakeholders to be happy, to be fulfilled, to be peak performers and productive in their personal lives. I really believe that small business growth is the, it's like the backbone of the economy. You know, I've been working abroad now um, for about 12 years and um, 16 countries so far. What was interesting about uh, heading to Europe and, and doing um, different consulting projects and working with companies in different countries across the European Union is it used to be very much about still getting a job, you know, fitting into that mold. And what we're seeing now is a dramatic shift in that thinking system, especially in the Eastern European countries that we call the emerging markets. And of course, the same thing is happening across India and, and various parts of Asia and definitely in the Middle East. If you haven't got your passport out and got a few stamps in it yet, and you own a business and you're trying to figure out how to take things to the next level or what it is that you need to do to scale up, that I really suggest you get on an airplane and start heading around the world, visiting different companies in different countries, and just have a look at what they're doing. It's how I've amassed this wealth of wisdom and knowledge and helped companies and, and hundreds and, and even thousands of people scale their businesses in different industries and in different parts of the world was I just organically grew it, you know. Um, I got on the airplane, I flew across the world, I spoke at events, I showed up at networking meetings, I shook hands, you know, this is before the sales funnel, this is before all the digital marketing and, and the sales funnel hacks, I mean, before that was actually a thing, I started out doing it the old school way and built this massive network of 60,000 people where I've spoken on stages in 16 countries and, and we're adding more and we're adding new countries and we're adding new partnerships. One of the interesting things I'm doing right now with um, our Business Accelerator Bootcamp is we're actually partnering with uh, business colleges. And I just came back from speaking in Canada where we, we partnered up with the Medicine Hat College. We had business leaders from across the city come. I did a one day introductory business accelerator boot camp, And now a group of those people have joined my mastermind and we're gonna do, we're gonna just do a short run mastermind to lead them into the end of Q4. And, um, and then they've invited me back to do a three day boot camp in the early spring. So I think I'll just kind of hit some of that cold weather. Um, but the nice thing about it is we're now partnering up with some business colleges across England and, and soon we'll be, we'll be everywhere and you'll be able to get the tools that you need to scale your business. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this and for, for sharing and liking and commenting. One of the things I've noticed is there's a big reach for my show with women. So if you're a woman and you're watching this show, there's a few things I just want to say to you, woman to woman, that's outside of the scope of business. However, it plays into how you, how you do business and, and how you show up in your business. And that is, first of all, 
for those of you that are trying to find so-called balance in your life, you've got kids, you you have a husband, you have a home, you have you have a business. You really, you know, I hear this all the time. I ask the question, what is it that you'd like to get out of this coaching program? And I get lots of hands up that say, I would really like to create balance in my life. So I, I, I don't want to burst your bubble, but I, I'm, I just want to give it to you straight. If you're looking to create some sort of balance between running your business and running your home, I'm going to tell you that you're probably looking for something that really doesn't exist. Okay. Balance, you know, it's, um, I think you really just have to decide where you want to put your energy, which is today's topic, the three energies that you need in your business to thrive. So where do you want to put your energy? It really just comes down to that. And I'm not suggesting that there's a limited amount of energy because I, I don't subscribe to that concept. I think that that is a, um, it's a limiting belief that we're sold that we only have so much energy and then we run out of energy and we can't do anymore. There may be only so many hours in a day. Okay. I get that. Yes, there's truth to that. But the idea that there's only so much energy is, is a fallacy because if you watched my previous shows where I talk about an internally based organization, versus an externally based organization that's looking to fix conditions and problems from the outside, energy works the same way. If you're looking to get energy from something that you're doing, then you'll probably be very disappointed that you're not able to keep replenishing yourself because energy is an internal thing. We don't get energy. We're human beings. So we actually create energy. So how does this relate to women in business? Because there's a real spike now of women having their own businesses, having their own companies, being in high level leadership roles. Granted, when it comes to board seats, when it comes to senior level C-suite positions in larger firms, there's still quite a block there. And uh, those days are numbered, I can assure you. But it really does come down to where do you want to put your energy? So let's look at um, let's look at the male counterpart. Let's look at the male business owner, the male entrepreneur, the male um, that's going out into the world and carving out the empire. If you notice, most of them are married and have wives that bring up the rear, so to speak, forgive me for saying it that way, but they bring up the, the slack. They bring up all of the back office stuff. There's a nicer way of saying it. They, they, they make sure that everything, the glue, they're the glue that hold everything together behind the scene. In fact, a friend of mine just posted a meme on his um, Facebook wall that behind every successful man is a woman with vision. And uh, wow. <laughs> You know, I could say a lot about that, but therein lies the mindset that um, women are on the back burner. So I really want to champion you women that are making a choice and being happy with your choice. So I'm not going to say I'm championing the woman that creates a business and not championing the woman that decides to be in the home and take care of her family. Because I think that both are noble and, and one is not better than the other, that it's just a matter of the choice you make and then being happy with the choice you make and being fulfilled with that choice because you can, you can choose to be happy and you can choose to be fulfilled regardless which choice you make. But the point I I'm, I'm want to get across to you is that if you choose to run a business, know it becomes all-consuming. So this idea of finding balance is probably something that you're going to chase that you're never going to realize that's going to make you feel frustrated. It's going to have you thinking and feeling that there's something wrong with you because you can't seem to get this balance thing dialed down. What if you were to just cut yourself some slack and to accept that by launching this business, 
you really are going to have to be all in. And then what's going to happen on the back end of life, on the home front, you need to figure out the resources for that so that things don't fall through the cracks because there's a home to run and there's children to take care of. And however you decide to do that, I'm not here to make you right or wrong. So for those of you that maybe have some comments on that, this is not about passing judgment. It's just about making an observation and creating some clarity around setting yourself free of thinking that you have to be it all, do it all in order to have it all, because that's really not the case. And when you get into the, the use of energy on life, then it really does change the dynamic, which leads me to the topic of today's show. So in neuroscience, what we want to look for is being able to interrupt those patterns of thought that keep us stuck. And we want to look at multiplying those patterns of thought that set us free. So in a business, you want to look at the energy that's happening within the business and you want, you want to get the energy on purpose. You want to get the energy directed into the direction that you want it to go instead of away from where you don't want to be. And so the difference there is you have an away from driver, which which is running away from the pain and suffering of something that you don't want to feel, an emotion. And then you have a toward driver, which is moving you toward the goals, the tangible outcomes, the measurable, definable, desired outcomes that you would like to achieve. And how do you do that? You basically need to have three energies in your business to keep everything running smoothly. And so the first energy is, well, the top three are creator, connector, and mover. So what's the connector? So the connector is the person or energy that will, that will talk to everyone, will, will reach out, have dialogue, make a connection, develop a relationship, they're always in a connector mode and they're not shy and they don't hold back and they don't prejudge who they should talk to. They just, they just are always engaging. So you've got to have a connector. Now you also have to have a creator. So a creator is able to generate the ideas. They are able to um, see what needs to be, what steps need to be put into place to take the idea and make something happen with that idea. Because if you're not actually creating key activities around the idea, then you, you're just kind of spinning your wheels. And then there's the mover. So the mover digs into the, the scope of vision. They're able to see from a larger point of view, this broad scope of vision. They, they're able to go meta, if you will. And then they're able to chunk that down into the baby steps that need to take place in order for that meta vision to actually become tangible results. You absolutely have to have all three energies in your business. And it's not about having three different people, although it could be, but it is definitely about having those three energies in your business. So what I would like to invite you to do is to go into your business, Take a look at the three, those three energies. Do you have connectors in your business? If you don't have enough connectors, you're going to go out of business because you're not going to get enough clients. If you don't have a creator, then you're going to just continually regurgitate the same old processes, the same old ideas, the same old offerings. You've got to have a creator because that gets you to the next level of creation. Remember in the last couple shows, I've said we're creators, you know, creation, 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 right? And then you must have a mover because what often happens is you can get stuck in the small steps and not actually connect the dots to the bigger picture. Or you can get so far out there in the big picture that you're not executing on the key activities to actually bring everything into alignment so that you can create the desired outcomes that you want. So that's my show for today. I want to keep it really short and sweet. I actually have a client call that I have to do in the next 30 seconds. So um, just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me. 
jump on again with me tomorrow. Please share, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get this all out to your tribe. Bring, bring your whole team to watch these, these episodes and then start to apply them today in every aspect of your business. And reach out to me um, and I'd be happy to do a, a strategy session with you. We can get something booked on the calendar. I'm in LA now for about the next uh, three weeks and then I'm abroad for three weeks. So we can connect in LA, we can connect in Monaco, we can connect in London, or we can connect in Dubai. Um, and then I've got a little visit to, to Amsterdam in November and out to Nashville. So definitely shoot me a message, PM me, and I'd be happy to work with you and help you build your team and build your enterprise. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me and liking and sharing. This is The Deborah Peters Show, and I hope it is of service to you. Blessings. Bye.